This 8x20 tiny house on wheels is in great condition, has blue and white finishings, a 13 foot tall roof at its highest point that is slanted, made of tin and great for solar panels. You can see the air conditioning unit right here, as well as the tow hitch that makes it easy to transport. Here we have a, an overview of the full 8x20 tiny house with cocoa flooring and beautiful natural light all throughout. We have a big kitchen space with a full range and oven, a farmhouse sink, and lots of big windows up in that loft area that fits a king size bed. And then through those doors is the closet space and then a sliding door connects you to the bathroom space. This tiny house has all bamboo woodwork on the kitchen counters and dining table, as well as the bench storage that you can see right in front of me. Custom tile work in here, as well as the bathroom, which you'll see in a little bit. Beautiful natural light coming from huge windows on all sides of the house. We have cabinets and drawers that have a soft closed system. A farmhouse sink with plenty of room with our furnishings all in black. An electric range that has four burners as well as a full oven. On this side, you can see our ladder that takes you up into the king size loft. Above is also a seat for our dining situation. This dining table does collapse down. Ooh, there we go. Drops down so you can have a little bit more space in this area if you wanted someone to put out a blow up mattress or you're doing some yoga or you're playing. Behind me, I have the bench storage. So we have a hinge door to get in there. Lots of space back there as well as an outlet below. We have our air conditioning unit that does blow pretty well up into the space. Lovely curtains to open up into the light in the day. These are beautiful incandescent bulbs up here. This is a beautiful space for a fridge, mini fridge for sure, but definitely has lots of space. You can even, if you get a shorter version, put a little bit now we're seated in our king size loft that has lots of sockets and beautiful hardware for lighting. It has lighting, canned lighting up above, as well as these lighter, sweeter, more incandescent bulbs. As we pan, we see beautiful large bay windows bringing in lots of natural light and the storage loft across the way that's four by eight feet, four feet deep. There's a window over here that is screened as well as all the other ones, and it pushes out at an angle. From there, we come down, you see the bench seating that also has our air conditioner right below. That bench seating has two shelves over here by the front door. Below, there's a padded seat that's part of that dining set that pulls out because this is our ladder. That ladder attaches with pins to each side and that also has an option to get over to the storage loft so you can secure it to the wall before going up there. Okay, so right now we have a view of our closet and washer dryer. The washer dryer is a combo machine by hair. It's been uh, beautifully kept in working order. On the other side, we have four shelves and our instant water heater, as well as more hanging space. Plenty of space for shirts or coats. Uh, dresses usually I would put on this side since it's a little lower down. Right here we are entering the bathroom. It has a sliding door that gives you privacy. We can see the green soaking tub and shower with black hardware. Lots of space for a mirror over here and lots of natural light. That's our compost toilet. It has a 
fan system that outtakes through that little guy right there and connects to power so that the space stays nice and fresh. We have a mini sink, a little bit of storage, and then lighting comes from this guy, as well as a space that's opportune for another light. I never connected anything. I actually put a mirror there, but it does have a connection to power 